Hey everybody, Mark Arnstein, Remax Hallmark, and of course, livingnorthtoronto.com. This is vlog number 24. Today we're gonna to talk about real estate acronyms. So your kids have been doing a lot of online learning lately, so today is your turn to do some online learning with me, Professor Mark Arnstein. So I want you to sit down, I want you to concentrate very carefully, because there will be a test after this. And I know who's watching, and I know who's listening, so be ready for your exam because it will be coming, I promise you, 100%. All right, let's get started. The first one, this is very simple, MLS, Multiple Listing Service. That's what we use to put the listings on MLS. Number two, TREB, T-R-E-B, the Toronto Real Estate Board. Number three, RICO, not your neighbor down the street, but RICO, which is, stands for the Real Estate Council of Ontario. That is the governing body that oversees all the real estate agents to make sure we stay in line and be good boys and good girls as real estate agents. Number four, OREA, which is the Ontario Real Estate Association. That also looks after all the education up until in a few more months, they're actually moving off of it. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna be doing next, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Else, these are not the guys that come make your toys at Christmas time. Those are your electric light fixtures. So if you're looking at the MLS listing, elves are electric light fixtures. SS, stainless steel. But usually applies to like stainless steel appliances, uh, stainless steel washer and dryer, those kinds of things, the appliances in the house. Next one. W-O, walkout. So you can have a walkout to your back deck, you can have a walkout to your garden, you can have a walkout from the basement. W-O stands for walk out. Mutual drive. Now this is one of my favorite ones because I originally moved here 16 years, years ago from Vancouver. I had no idea what a mutual drive was. But a mutual drive is a driveway that goes between two houses that usually most of the time this is not even wide enough to get a car up in between the houses, but it is a path between the two houses that both neighbors have to allow each other to have access through back and forth, and it's a shared pathway between the two homes, and no one can block it for the other person's use, okay? BI, pretty straightforward, built-in. So you can have built-in appliances, you can have a built-in uh, you know, uh, microwave, you can have a built-in stove, uh, but something that's actually physically built into the house. SQFT, square feet, right? So how big the house actually is or the condo, whatever you're looking at, townhome, SQFT is the size square footage. Number 11, this is one of my favorites, CAC. Gotta have good CAC in your house. Good CAC is very, very important, which is central air conditioning. GBE, gas, burner, and equipment. That's your furnace. HW. Everybody loves beautiful hardwood floors. Those are your hardwood floors. HWT, hot water tank. DW, dishwasher. W slash D, washer and dryer. W slash, usually means with. So with something, so um, with dot, 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 dot. Uh, CVAC is central vacuum in the house. CVAC, central vacuum, and the attachments. Broadloom, this is another one I didn't know what that meant 16 years ago. Broadloom is the carpet in the house, so not the area rugs, the actual physical carpet wall to wall is Broadloom. MKT, market. LIV, live, living room. DIN, dining room. APT is apartment, appointment. Min, M-I-N, minimum. And finally, one that's probably most important because we're talking about education right now and online schooling, PS stands for public school. Okay, so the reason why all these acronyms are used, all these abbreviations, is because if you look at the listing, there's not a lot of room for us to write full fledged descriptions. So we try and break things down so we get you the gist as much as we possibly can so you have a good idea of what everything actually means. 
So repeat all those back to me right away because they're all super important. No, I'm kidding. But there will be a test. So make sure you understand all these. These are what's gonna help you get through Real Estate Lingo 101. Remember to follow us along on social, YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all that great stuff. Take care, be well, be safe. Talk to you next week. See you soon. Bye.